here we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Ray here. I'm glad you could join me. Today I want to do a short video. And first off, I want to say that this will be a test uh, also of the five axis stabilization on the Nikon Z6. That's what we're recording on. On this uh, bumpy pothole dirt road, today filled with puddles. Um, so that's, a, that's the first thing. So what we have set up here is my new in-car or on-car rig comprised of the Fat Gecko triple mount system with suction cups. And for light, I have on there also something that's new to me, the Aperture Amaran MC, little LED light. So I've got that set at 50%. I believe it's at 5600 Kelvin. Now we're on some nice, actually very smooth tarmac. So that should, <laughs> that should smooth things out a little bit. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled here because this is a very narrow road. It's one car, maybe one and a half cars wide. But I thought this would be a nice place to test this out because back to the Amaran MC. When I'm doing little blatherings like this in car or, or other places for that matter that when I'm moving along, quite often, as in this case, we are lost. We go this way. We are quite often going in and out of shaded areas. In this case, a thick rainforest. <laughs> and it really is a rainforest today. This is our first uh, couple of days now of substantial rain, having gone through a very, 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 very hot summer, record-breaking temperatures. And this is what the Amaran MC looks like at 100%. Maybe a little too much? I don't know. Of course, this could be controlled by the Cytus Link app, which I demonstrated when I reviewed the Amaran 100D. And the MC comes with this little pouch, which is kind of cool, which includes a kind of rubber diffuser, which is what we're using right now with the light at 100%. Having a little light like this is really great. Uh, I foresee myself taking it on trips, expeditions, camping <laughs> expeditions. I don't do expeditions anymore, <laughs> let's face it. Uh, camping trips and even in the studio because this Amaran light, I'm not going to do a full review of it in the car right here, but we have the white light. We also have everything from 3200 up to way up there, over 6000 Kelvin, I believe. Then we also have um, RGB lights with gazillions of, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's billions of color combinations. <laughs> if you could ever figure them all out. So it'll, it'll come in very handy. But back to what we're talking about here, this rig. What I hope that it will uh, do is replace my GoPro camera because I'm never satisfied with the results of the GoPro camera. Uh, in particular, it never matches completely the footage that comes out of the Z6. And the Z6, I usually, as I am right now, record in uh, flat with flat profile 24 frames a second right now we're shooting at 100 ISO f4 on this lens which is that's its widest aperture this is the 14 to 30 f4 z mount lens what was i saying <laughs> i've lost my train of thought i know what i was saying <laughs> so it never it never matches to my satisfaction and obviously the the footage coming out of the Nikon Z6 is just going to beat the the GoPro Hero 8 is what what I have every time. Today I don't need an ND filter, but obviously if we're if we had a bright day here, I'd be using an ND filter at least a, a three-stop ND filter, and I have everything to cover what I'd need there. But something that sprang to mind today as I first tested this out was really this would be the time to have a variable ND filter 
and I'll probably look into working one of those into my stretch budget pretty soon. So maybe you're going to see uh, some of these vlogs, driving vlogs, as I go along here. And I hope you'll excuse that I'm not looking you in the eye all the time because obviously safety is a prime factor here as well. Here's one thing that I didn't realize about this and in case you're thinking of buying one of these uh, suction cup thingies, <laughs> technical term, the thing to remember is that the the ball head is integrated. It's not removable. But I was able with an adapter to put my newer uh, ball head on it, which is a much, much better ball head. Cost me, I, I think in my last video I said it was $35, but I think it was $45. But anyway, it's a, it's a nice ball head for the price. Anyway, I had an adapter and I was able to adapt and put the Niwar ball head on there. And now I, that's a uh, Swiss Arca compatible ball head. So I've got the small rig L bracket on the Nikon Z6. So that just slots right onto there and it works very well. So the other part of this kit, of course, is the audio. And what I'm using is my Rode Wireless Go uh, in the audio location kit that I built that I've shown in another video. And I'm wearing the Lav Go mic. So that's all being recorded externally. So that really covers it all, really. I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks. From my perspective here, uh, I can see there's some, there's some jiggle, <laughs> some wiggling and jiggling. Hopefully, as I said, the five axis stabilization can take care of those little jiggles. And seeing as we've got a wide angle lens, that's also going to help. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did find it of any use, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Cheers and we'll see you on the next one.